everybody. It's been a little while since I have picked up the camera and actually recorded anything. Long story short, uh, back on March 12th, I found out my Lola died. Um, and yeah, we were on our way up to vacation and yeah, I don't, I don't really want to get into it, but I'll show you guys the clips just really quickly. Um, on the way down, we stopped at coffee shops and thrift stores and yeah, I'll just show you guys these clips real quick. So we're at Titanic. We haven't been here since before Bethany's accident, actually. Yeah, it's been a while because they moved locations. Oh yeah, that's right. The gender reveal video was one of the last time we've been here. It's been so, so, so long. So we're really happy to be here. We love this place. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Titanic. Yeah, they have Vietnamese and Thai food. So like the best of both worlds. Not too much, right? What do you think, bro? Just you ready to get some pho? And you met Kimmy? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today, we are on our way to Castaway Bay in Ohio, but we're taking detours along the way, trying to stop at coffee shops and thrift stores, but just wanted to say hi. Uh, I didn't do an intro to this vlog because we woke up at like six and it was too early. Uh, we actually woke up before that, but then I decided I didn't want to wake up yet. So yeah, technically it's four because uh, daylight savings, but we got Kai here too. Kai, that's weird. <laughs> it's not weird. Your coffee, sir. Here, you want the camera? Here you go. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. I got a, a drink called Sweet Chai O' Mine. It's like chai, obviously, with like snickerdoodle, some. And Bethany got Ring of Fire. Landon got Ring of Fire. Yeah. Avocado toast. Egg and cheese biscuit. Baby condoms. <laughs> found a Goodwill. About to say this Goodwill is no good, but then I found some orange tab jorts. 70s rustler. 80s rustler. Single stitch tee. So, so far that's what I found. Stopped at another Goodwill. Found some vintage 505s. Nice wash. <laughs> oh boy. We got a bunch of 70s. Single stitch tees here. 90s ringer, 80s ringer tee, 80s single stitch, 90s ringer tee, sweet. So, bought a good amount of things. That was surprisingly the best Goodwill around here. Um, it was very, very big, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll show you guys things when we get to the hotel or something like that, but uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Get your hand out of there. As you guys saw, um, I did find some pretty cool stuff I was really excited about, but also I couldn't be like too, too excited because yeah, I don't know. I, I was kind of in a funk to be honest. Um, yeah, still kind of sad about it. Um, and yeah, just really dealing with it. 
But today's video is not really about that. It's about um, everything that I've been thrifting like the past couple months that I haven't been recording anything in the store. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys. There's literally a lot. I'll show you guys like as quickly as possible. So I don't know how long this is gonna be because I have a lot, but let me show you guys everything that I have. So right here, we got a bunch of denim here. And then over here in these Ikea bags, you can see, I tried to separate it. These are like t-shirts. This is like flannels and knits. This is like jackets and crew necks and sweaters and stuff like that. And this is like a bag of military stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna try and show you guys as quickly as possible. So starting off with bottoms, we're just gonna go ahead and show you guys. Pants are always the worst to show because I have to like sometimes stand up, but we have these Gaetano pants. Um, these are women's, I believe. Yeah, they're like a purplish brown colorway. And then these are probably the craziest pair um, just because of the color. They're like aqua or like teal, uh, vintage Wranglers from like the 80s or the 90s. Leaning more towards the 90s. Yeah, these are probably like 90s, late 80s. I picked them up because of the color obviously. And then we got some 550s. These are a good neutral tone colorway. I am not a huge fan of the 550 model. I have a lot of them. Vintage, I believe this is a 90s pair. Yup, this is a 90s pair. And then along the same theme, we have what I'm wearing currently. We got these, we got these Carhartts. Wow. Don't mind the outfit. Um, these Carhartts have the talon zip, so I believe they're like from the 70s, maybe early 80s. Um, but yeah, super nice pair of pants. I was so stoked. If you guys want to, <laughs> if you guys want to watch the video, uh, I'll try and leave the card up here um, where I found these pants. Um, and then we got, I wish these fit me better, but we have these 70s polyester Levi's. I love these pants. I have a black pair, um, so I was really hoping this would fit me, but this pair does not fit me very, very well. So these will be for sale, and most of this stuff will be for sale. If you guys want anything, uh, check out my page at Shop Just Some Things. I'm selling mostly on Depop right now, um, and I've been pretty consistent with listing. I'm trying to list like five items um, every day from Monday to Friday. So yeah, check them out there. And then just continuing on, we got black pair. 90s 501s nice pair yet again i wish these fit me size 32 34 is on the tag mid 90s 94. i rarely rarely find 501s so when i find them i usually pick them up whether they're like newer or older um as long as they're like early 2000s i'll pick them up but now we got black pair 50s yeah sorry guys i'm literally just trying to go as fast as i can 545s um, I don't know what these are. This is the tag is super weird because it's got this Levi Strauss with it, which is like, I don't know, I feel like Y2K, but then you got the paper tag also says assembled in Mexico. So it's like late 90s, early 2000s, but this pair is from 96. Nice faded pair here. Yeah, none of this stuff is listed yet, but if you guys are curious to know about sizing on any of this stuff, like the pants, everything else that's gonna follow, let me know. Another pair. 550s this is all the black pairs and then we got a pair of 550 jorts um, these are perfect for the summer this might be a pair for me we'll see how they fit um, orange tabs so that's cool. we got these 70s wranglers i love the back patch here and the arcuate here reminds me of like a lightning bolt but 70s wrangler flares you guys can kind of see there um, they are stretchy material so they're pretty comfortable um, not my favorite. I prefer, usually I prefer 100% cotton um, when it comes to denim just because they feel, I don't know, I like the weight to them. And then I believe these are 505 double X's. Another 90s pair of 505s. Nice wash, a little bit of whiskering on the pants there. You can kind of see it there. Um, patches faded. Orange tab 550s. As you guys can see, 550s is probably my most common model that I find. Um, and they're usually, when I find them, they're usually vintage, so I can't resist but pick them up. So if you guys are looking for 550, they're like the perfect, um, like relaxed, slim taper kind of fit, like the mom jean or the dad jean. This one, super nice fading on the front here. You can kind of see it there. I'm not gonna try any of these on um, just because I'm pretty lazy. Um, maybe I'll try on like some of the t-shirts and the flannels and stuff if you guys want to do it, but 
Like I said, I'm just trying to get through this real quick so I can start listing this stuff because I haven't been listing any of this stuff just so I can record this video first. Um, another pair of 550s orange tabs. This is a nice like light stone wash. Very nice pair. I wish they were 505s. If they were 505s, I'd probably keep them. I'm just not the biggest fan. And yet again, surprise, surprise, another pair of 550s. And I believe all these are from like the 90s. Um, so yeah, super nice. This one's labeled 3632. So a little bit on the bigger end. And yeah, that's everything for the pants. Let's move on just to the next bag. I'm gonna go through the flannels here and like the knits. Okay, so starting with like the knits and the flannels and like the cardigans and the, s the sweaters. Right off the bat, I wanna say a lot of the stuff I got at the same estate sale and on the curb, of this house at the state sale, they were throwing out two or three bag, like big black garbage bags full of clothes. And of course I grabbed it and I went through it and there was some pretty good stuff in there. I can't believe they were kind of just throwing them out. Free clothes is free clothes. So let's, uh, first off, I believe this was in one of the garbage bags was this eighties or like seventies or eighties, um, black Panther. Oh, back. <laughs> oh, backpacker flannel nice color here that one's nice um this one is not from a state sale but this is from the thrift store i kind of like this one um it's by field field gear field gear this is like definitely like an 80s maybe early 90s flannel i like this one you see yeah this one's pretty cool uh, i'm thinking i might keep this one but we'll see i don't know let me know what do you guys think Okay, I can't wear this, it's too hot. Next, we got 70s sweater vest. 70s sweater vest on the sportswear. Uh, we got this, uh, I can't really, Sheetland uh, Warren knit. I wanna say this is probably like 60s or 70s. This one's a really nice, it's like wool type material, so it's kinda itchy. We got an 80s flannel here, 80s or 90s flannel. It's like, I don't know what kind of color it is. It kind of looks purple, but it's it's like a grayish blue. And then we have a lot of cardigans. I wanna say this one's probably like 60s or 70s cardigan. Nice like raspberry type of colorway. Here we go, the same kind of color, but this is on the Fox collection, which I believe is like 70s or 80s. Could be wrong. Sorry guys, I'm really trying to go quickly. I'm trying to go quickly. I'm trying to go quick. And then we got a 70s little type of sweater. I don't know what kind of sweater it has, but it has this, I don't know, what would you call this? But 70s on the sportswear knit. This, I believe is like a 60s or a 70s arrow flannel. This one's nice. It's very similar to that first one I showed you guys. We got like an 80s. I don't know, I think this is an 80s Pendleton tag. Somebody, there's no wool mark. This could be 90s maybe, um, but it's definitely old. Totally like grandma or grandpa vibe here with this Pendleton. These two sweaters were in the garbage. Um, this little like turtleneck. This one's kind of cool. Um, I wish it was like all over, but this is the front print here. Kind of nothing, not, nothing on the back here, but it's on a Trend Basics. So it's like, it's like an 80s thing. We have this, somebody date this for me. Um, I wanna say this is pretty old. I guess maybe like 50s or 60s, um, but it's on the old like Hudson Bay tag. If you guys can see that, it's a nice wool flannel. Like this is the perfect like lumberjack type of flannel. Um, and then we got, what is this? Oh, just a black cardigan, Towncraft. This is like 80s or 90s, a little Towncraft knit. Cardigan, little cardigan style vest by Thane. Probably yet again, like an 80s or 90s. And I believe this is another Fox collection. So, and this is probably like my favorite one. I believe this is like a 50s or 60s. Let me know what you guys think of this. Obviously it doesn't really work with the outfit, but it's nice and soft. I think I might keep this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Next up, we have the jackets. This one might be for the personal, yet again, we got this like 80s or 90s members only jacket, but this one's really cool because it's got the collar, um, which I think is really cool. Um, usually they don't have the collar, kind of why I don't usually like them, but this one's pretty cool. 
kind of see quick. A little, look at this. Kind of works with my outfit. Woo. <laughs> Next up, we got this like 70s Sears jacket. This one I found in the dude's workshop. Thought it was kind of cool. It's got a lot of like repairs and stuff on it, but the hood is kind of weird. <laughs> I wish this next one fit me, but it doesn't. We have this little champion, like 80s champion varsity jacket, nylon, or like a satin bomber, whatever you want to call it. They've got buttons on them. This one's really, really cool. I think you guys already saw this in a video, but the denim jacket, super nice distressing on this one. This one's really, really cool. First time finding a 70s champion. Kind of see it. 70s champion there. Barely read, but we got this Michigan State coaches jacket. This thing is super, super cool. I always love to find like U of M or MSU stuff. Honestly, I don't like one more than the other. Like I'm not a huge sports guy. So sorry if I offend any, but any of you out there. <laughs> this one's super cool. I have to keep this one for the personal. It's nice and soft too. It's got like that lining on the inside of it. It is like shredding here on the sleeve, but I mean, it's still wearable. You can tell it's, it's almost like it got burnt or something. It caught on fire. <laughs> Next up, we have the crew necks and we got this 90s, 90s. It's like a map of Canada. You can kind of see it there. 90s crew neck. Next one, we got this like probably 90s. MSU, crew neck again, this skiing in Italy. Uh, this is probably like an 80s, 90s piece. I think this is ski, ski, yeah, ski. <laughs> ski Italy, this one's a cool graphic. This one's funny, this is like an 80s, yeah, like an 80s or 90s, probably like a 90s. Raglan, you guys know I love the raglan cuts, but it says stress, what stress? Frazzled cat, I'm gonna call it frazzled cat. I have, I literally know little to nothing about government, but this is like a 90s pap, papa? Papa George, Congress, front and back hit here, raglan cut. And then this one is super cool. We have this 80s or 90s Rustler. Did I say Rustler? 80s or 90s Russell Athletic. And then if you don't think that's cool, then you got the matching pants for it. Or a little sweatsuit. Another Michigan State hoodie. I believe this one's like Y2K, late 90s. Yeah, it's definitely late 90s Y2K on the Toltex. Really nice hoodie. Kind of want to keep this one, but I'm not going to. This one's cool. I don't know what this is. I tried to do like research on it. I, I Clearly, I didn't do very well. You guys can kind of see the logo. Club, Club Trapetto? Trapetto? Michigan? I have no idea what this is. If it's inappropriate, I'm so sorry. Nothing on the back. Kind of wish this one had a back hit. This one is super, super cool. Uh, I've never seen this vintage Converse. It's like an 80s tag here. Raglan, it's got like shoulder pads. It reminds me of, I don't know, like a hockey jersey type thing, but nothing crazy on the back. It's Converse, that one's cool. Super, super soft on the inside too. We have a, uh, this is like a 90s Y2K Red Wings crew neck on the Lee. Next up, we have the t-shirts. This one is definitely gonna take the most amount of time. So I'm gonna do this one and then the military stuff. Very last for those of you who wanna stick around, but this shirt I got is a Y2K uh, Man of Steel, Superman. Loved the graphic on this t-shirt. I'm wearing it, obviously. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it yet, but I'm a superhero nerd, so I might keep it. But starting off, we got this super, super weird, kind of like a jersey. I wanna say this is like an 80s, 80s jersey. It's got like, yeah, it's got the holes in it and uh, when I went to buy this, I specifically remember the cashier at Goodwill thinking it was so weird that there were holes in the shirt. And I said, pretty sure this is like more of like a jersey, but I mean, I know people like this kind of stuff. So this one is funny. I'm too sexy for retirement. Single stitch. This is a 90s piece, paper, paper thin. Love that one. Uh, this is just like a more of like a modern, like 90s Harley. Your year, Black Hills, 2003. So a Y2 graphic on that one. This one is really cool. I barely find ringer tees. Uh, I believe this is like a 90s one. 90s, the office bar, which funny enough, I believe there's a bar in Romeo, Michigan called The Office. I don't know correlating to that, but this one's nice. Wanted to keep this one, but I don't think I'm going to. This one is a 80s piece. I believe this is an 80s Onita tag or 90s Mayan Magic Cafe. Cool graphic. I think somebody will like this single stitch. Thought this one was kind of cool. It's like an M&M Pirates of the Caribbean promo 2000s piece. And it's got a little M&M hit on the sleeve here. Not single stitch or anything. 
This one I believe is like an 80s, what does it say? Winnie's Wonderland, Mary Kay Seminar. Nope, this is a 90s. Kind of like an art, looks like an art tee. I don't know, what's Mary Kay? is like a little Native American hit here. On the Signal tag, yep, Signal Sport. This is a 90s piece, single stitch. This kind of got like a puff print here. Shoot, this was supposed to go in the last section, but look, bedazzled? Come on now. For all of you who like, okay, it's not bedazzled, but it's like that sparkly glitter type print. 80s piece, 80s, 90s on the jersey. Definitely a 90s actually. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it's definitely a 90s piece. It reminds me of Dead Mouse. Mouse, Dead Mouse, sorry. <laughs> Dead mouse or like Mickey Mouse, it's this one's bedazzled. I don't know, if you guys know what this is, single stitch, bedazzled, rhinestone, not rhinestone, I don't know what you call it. This one, really cool horse graphic, come on now. Keeping up with the horse theme, we got this one, Tennessee walking horse, single stitch. We got a UAW shirt, single stitch, embroidered, 1992. It's got a little uh, UAW rocks on the sleeve. Love picking up this stuff, 90s Red Wings. This is probably like late 90s. This one's really cool. I believe this is an 80s, 1991. I didn't know who this was. This kind of looks like, uh, <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the guy, the kid from One Direction that nobody really likes? Louis? I don't know, kind of looked like him at first. Mel McDaniels, 1991. I like the back. This one I might keep. I'm not crazy about the color, but come on. Baby got her blue jeans. <laughs> Bethany, I actually listened to it. He's a country artist. So this is a big, big one, but this one's really, really cool. Love this one. Wish this was a little bit smaller. This is, uh, as you can tell, Harley T. Really cool. Smith Brothers. I love that one. It's got a little race car there too. Cool the Landing Tavern. Single stitch. 80s. I believe this one's 80s. Back Landing Tavern. Look at that. Uh, I believe this guy looks like the seagull from Little Mermaid if you guys watch that movie. Little thousands. 90s. Detroit baseball type tee 70s uh yeah 70s sears king's road this one's really cool and i don't really care for like the mock neck style like it goes like pretty high up but this one's really cool single stitch it's like a more of like a knit 80s traverse city this one's cool all over or front and back i don't know wrap around print on the back both there this one's got paint stains and stuff but i think it adds Cool factor to it. That one is single stitch. Always pick up these. Well, I, we sometimes pick up. This is a Jesus T here. Fishers of Men back. Not a fan of the back. Front graphics cool. This is a big size. It's 2XL. Oh, I love this one. Kind of wish it was not an XL. This graphic, Mackinac Bridge Race. This one, thought this one was funny. A woman for all sports. Just the graphics funny. It's got like that kitty core type drawing on it. Single stitch. This is a modern, but on a giant tag. I want to say it's probably like 2000s. Paul McCartney, 2002. This shirt's really, really cool. Honestly, I wish I could wear this, to be honest, but I know. Then we got this cool, I believe it's like an 80s or 90s, like jersey. It says uh, Palm Beach. Oh, nope. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, it says polar bears. Polar bears. I found three of these. I'm super, super excited about these. These are vintage. These are like 60s or 70s, to be honest. Judging by the tag, you can't really read it. Um, because it's super faded, but we got the Stamford Cardinals single stitch, really thin. Judging by like the way it's made and the collar and the sizing, I'd say this is like 60s or 70s. Three of those, I'm keeping one for the personal. Um, these two are mediums, and I think the one I'm keeping is large. Love these 70s thermals. I'm not even gonna bother opening them. You guys know I talk about these like all the time, I feel like, or I wear them all the time. This, like these are 90s. I think this is like a destination tee. This one's for all you boys who drive a Jeep. There you go, I'm not gonna read that. Single stitch. This one is super, super cool. It's in like near like new condition. Uh, it's on a Salem sports style tag. Look at that. That graphic is so cool. Shake it up the refreshest. That graphic is super cool. It's got the double layered sleeves and the collar. We got like a surfer, surf gear. So it's like an 80s. It's got some staining or yellowing here. The chest hit there, really cool 80s graphic. I like the tag too, single stitch. Uh, this is, I picked this up cause it was a long sleeve. I'm noticing now in the light, it's got a bunch of like yellowing, but it's nothing crazy. Great Lake Marathon Championship. Single stitch, long sleeve. I've never found a single stitch long sleeve, so I picked it up. Like an 80s, what is this? United Colors of Tuarmina Italia. Vintage Italy shirt. Um, it's got major staining on the sleeve there, but still fully wearable. The sleeve is like this, the cut on this shirt is so weird. Like, look at this. Cool, single stitch. 
Finn. Here we go again with this Club Trapetto of Michigan. I don't know what this is, but somebody tell me what this is. Single stitch, nice and thin. Basic Harley tee, I'm crazy here. 2002, that thing was like a dollar, so. This one's cool, 80s, uh, the tennis shoe walking horse. Look at that graphic, that's cool. I like that one. 1990, single stitch, catch your dream. It's got like a Pegasus, single stitch, horse walking on the moon, 80s. Horses riding in a thunderstorm, purple in a teal. It's got the double sleeve and collar again. MBC, I'd never seen this tag before, but graphics cool. And then these are, this is everything that I think I'm gonna be keeping in my collection. Five guys named Mo, this vintage like jazz tee, single stitch. It is a little bigger, but um, yeah. Five guys named Mo, I believe this is a, like a Broadway show. Yeah, you guys don't need to see this. There's that vintage 70s. I was so happy I found this because I wanted more ringer tees, but uh, 80s ringer tee, Lorian, Ohio. Little beaver there. Look at that. Kind of like the Heather Blue. Uh, I like this one because I like the tag and I like the Kelly Green colorway. Charter boats. Single stitch, of course. 80s Hanes. This one, I have something that's like this, but I think I like this graphic more, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I really like the vintage like Russell Athletic t-shirts. I think they fit really well and they're just comfortable. Um, I have one that says uh, UDM Titans. I think I'm gonna be selling that one and I'm gonna be keeping this one. Northland Collision. It's like an, it's like an auto shop or it's like a team sponsored by like an auto shop or something because it's got a number on the back, 13. Paper thin, the hem on the bottom is like coming undone like but I think that's kind of cool, but really like the graphic on that one. And that is it for the t-shirts. Let's get to the last category, which is going to be the military stuff. Okay, this one's gonna be really quick. 70s liner. You guys don't really need to know about these. You guys probably already know. We got an 80s liner here, darker color. 70s, the color and the fading on this one. This one has a couple patches here. This army, and then we got this 70s. I believe this is a 70s, another army. Walker, this one has a lot of patches here. I don't know what any of this means. I'll have to look into it. Always love vintage military stuff. I don't know why these are in here, but my wife just found these vintage Boy Scout shorts. These are super cool um, because they have the da da da. They have the Talon 42 zipper, the 70s. Just another 80s military shirt, and I don't know why these are in here because I've already made a video about this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys anyway. These are for sure for sale. We got this 50s Korean War, and then we have this one which is also from the 50s this is more of like just their fatigue that they would wear cool you guys have already seen this so i'm not even gonna bother and uh that's pretty much everything that i've been picking up sorry this was probably a really long video and i didn't really show much in detail um just because there's a lot and i've been wanting to list this stuff and i haven't until i recorded this video so i needed to record this video okay so sorry i had to turn off product showcase mode because it kept focusing on my hand because I'm going like this. So <laughs> anyways, if you guys made it this far into the video, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It seriously means a lot. Um, I'm going to try and get back to recording stuff uh, more frequently. I have have been dropping videos, but that's stuff I've already edited. And yeah, thank you guys for <laughs> tuning in. And uh, if you guys want anything, at shop just some things, you guys already know. Find me on Depop mostly because that's mostly where I'm selling, but if you see anything that I post on Instagram, reach out to me there too. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. And if any of you guys are wondering why I don't really record these types of videos much anymore, um, because this, look at this, this mess that I got to clean up afterwards. The office is now compiled of a bunch of clothes everywhere. And yeah, it's a mess. So yeah, that's pretty much why I don't try to uh, hoard my thrift hauls, but I just haven't been recording anything and I want to document for you guys because I know a lot of you guys like this type of content. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, if you guys saw anything in this video, let me know. Okay. Peace.